story team from night madras स्टूडियो टीम गुड मॉर्निंग सर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू गुड मॉर्निंग सोनल यस मैम यू कैन स्टार्ट स्टार्ट यस मैम थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच uh very good morning to all i am sonal dinkar gugeda assistant professor from the department of chemistry and spoke of local chapter gurunanak college of science ballarpur it's my absolute honor to welcome on behalf of gurunanak college of science ballarpur and gyan ganga college of technology jabalpur madhya pradesh today's resources person respected priyadarshini madam from nptel iit madras and whole nptel iit madras team thank you madam thank you iit madras team welcome it's my immense pleasure to welcome dr s s pokre sir principal our college gurunanak college of science ballarpur and dr d v s bhagwanullu sir principal gyan ganga college of technology madhya pradesh welcome sir thank you i take opportunity to welcome all head of departments faculties from the both the colleges welcome you all thank you so much i also welcome beloved student from both the colleges those who are actively participated in this nptel awareness e workshop welcome you all again now i request dr s s pokre sir principal gurunanak college of science ballarpur give the introductory remarks speech of our college thank you so much sir please hello i am audible yes sir you are audible oh thank you thank you good morning everyone i am dr sharades pukle principal gurunanak college of science ballarpur district chandrapur in maharashtra i am very much happy on the occasion of functioning of the nptel awareness e workshop program dear student modern age is an age of science and advanced technology in this fast moving age in which the world is becoming a global village education is must to identify our self universally gaining knowledge is the first step to wisdom and sharing it is the first to humanity science plays <coughs> the pivotal role in causing this change predominantly in the direction of progress national program on technology enhanced learning that is nptel is a project of mhrt initiated by a seven indian institute of technology bombay delhi kanpur kharagpur madras guwahati and roorkee along with the indian institute of science bangalore in 2003 to provide quality education to everyone interested in learning from the iits the main goal was to create a web and video courses in all major branches of engineering and physical sciences at the undergraduate and postgraduate level and management courses at the postgraduate level nptel swayam is the national mooc portal being developed by mhrd government of india in order to ensure best quality content is produced and deliver seven national coordinators have been appointed under swayam NPTEL is the official swayam national coordinator for engineering all NPTEL online certificate courses are swayam courses too and they are available in the swayam platform as well <coughs> NPTEL is useful in filling the gap in learning here here one can learn from the best teacher in the country for you NPTEL is the best best platform for online learning because there is no pre, pre qualification no age limit and no entrance criteria to enroll now our college gurunanak college of science ballarpur is an academic and intellectual phase of gurunanak seva samiti virur it is gratifying to note that with the hard and persistent effort of late sardar ajit singh toni it has been possible 
to establish a co-educational single faculty science college in the year 1971 at Ballarpur, one of the backward region of Chandrapur district, which comes under the tribal belt. It, it is through their backing, help and active support, the college started functioning from 28 June 1971 with the motto Vidya Vichari Ta Paropakari, with a view to impact science education to the rural and semi-urban student of Chandrapur and Gadchiroli district in Maharashtra. In accordance with our motto, this institution has diversified academic programs and has goal more emphasis on the curriculum and co-curricular aspect, considering the industrial needs of the area and the recent trends in the field of science, the college has introduced various courses from time to time during the last five decades. This institution has a track record of its academic excellence at different level. The college continuously marching ahead with its well-qualified and devoted staff under the able guidance of the beloved president, Sardar Naginder Singh Tuni. The sole aim of this college is to impart, impart science education and help to pursue higher education and employment. The course started pre-university and three-year degree course in science with 91 students and five subjects. This single faculty science college has now feather in the cap with 450 students in degree section and about 500 students in the junior section and 10 subjects. The college has well-equipped laboratories to conduct various experiments in chemistry, physics, botany, zoology, microbiology, geology, biochemistry, biotechnology, electronics, and computer science. Guru Nanak College of Science, Ballarpur, is an academic face of Guru Nanak Seva Samiti Virur. It has become an educational hub while catering to the educational needs of rural populations and inculcating social values among the students. The college is also equally in the forefront of spreading environmental awareness in the highly populated area. Our institution encourages students and provide guidance to them from time to time for higher learning. The career counseling cell encourages the student to appear for various competitive examinations, keeping in the view of need of employment. Career guidance called uh, career guidance cell right at their best to give opportunities to the student of college to face interviews and return tests of various companies. Our college is very particular about two fundamental things. First, the teacher's attitude towards their own role in education and a deeper understanding of how students can prepare for facing challenges. One more thing here I would like to advise to you. Further, to join the courses of NPTEL, you have to study that with keen observation, which will give you the right kind of foundation for your future journey career. Be knowledge oriented person, be career oriented once. Good Institute lays a strong foundation for the future life of the student. Uh, our best wishes are always with you. Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan would say, don't study for merely examination. Study should be real enjoyment of life. I wish you a bright future in your future life. Thank you, thank you, all the best. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for enlightening this event. And now uh, I request Dr. DVS Vaganulu, sir, enlightening this event. Dr. DVS Vaganulu, sir. Thank you, Sonal. Am I audible? Yes, sir, audible. Yeah. So thank you, Sonal. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, joining this uh, e awareness program of NPTEL. And uh, welcome to all for this uh, e workshop. Uh, come to NPTEL. Uh, basically, I am from IIT Madras product. So I know about NPTEL very well. Uh, when I completed my PhD in 1996 from IIT Madras, at that time, there is no NPTEL. But 2003, it started. Uh, even when I'm teaching some of the courses, I used to take NPTEL syllabus and used to prepare. Uh, one of the advantages with most of the autonomous colleges and universities are whatever the syllabus being covered in NPTEL can be taken as their syllabus and then they can introduce the courses. That is one of the advantages with NPTEL we have. Uh, 
because UGC mandate is earlier, 20% of the courses can be covered using MOOCs. But now recently they changed it to 40%. So 40% of the courses can be, uh, as uh, credit transfer can be done in their total curriculum. So the 10 PTL courses can be taken and then used for the students so that it will be advantage for the students at the same time, particularly if you come to engineering. Uh, most of the companies are asking the students to join in their company, either in the seventh semester or eighth semester. So, but uh, Gyanaganga College of Technology is coming under uh, RGPB, Raju Gandhi Technical University. So, their syllabus provides around three courses uh, in the seventh semester and three courses in eighth semester. So, in that situation, this NPTEL has given a very good advantage for the students so that even though they go for internship and also do these courses using NPTEL. Another advantage is the credit transfer is very much easy for the faculty because in NPTEL we have eight weeks to 12 week courses are available, 12 week courses are available so that either two credits or three credits can be transferred to the particular student, those who are doing using MOOCs. Around total 3,500 courses definitely giving an advantage to the students to carry out these courses either from the first semester or in the seventh and eighth semester. And if you see that the NIR ranking, National Institute of Ranking Framework, they are also provided online education, 10 marks they provided for the online education. So uh, most of the students who carry out this one will give additional advantage to the college so that they can be a front runner in the ranking by having online education to them uh, using either NPTEL or SWIM. Uh, one of some of our uh, faculty are already doing these courses and later they are going to uh, conduct similar classes in the classroom because uh, for the faculty also it is providing additional advantage to getting more knowledge and students we are always supporting most of the students to carry out nptl courses in our gyananganga college of technology and being a local uh, center most of our students are doing and another uh, thing about our uh, um, uh, uh, education society, we have under Vardhaman Education Society, we have two engineering colleges. One is Gyananganga Institute of Technology and Sciences. Second one is Gyananganga College of Technology, our college. We are total intake of 360 in which we have a computer science, mechanical, civil, and electronics and communication. Total 360 uh, seats we have available. And uh, ours is the one of the best institution in Madhya Pradesh and all our seats being filled. Uh, completely filled by the students, even though there is no entrance examination as per Madhya Pradesh government, but our seats are being filled because the reason is we are providing multidisciplinary education at the same time, what students required continuously, we are concentrating on it. And uh, you know very well that nowadays, which are all the companies visiting most of the engineering colleges, they are looking for the students who are having multidisciplinary skills. This NPTEL, some of the courses in which our student, our faculty are guiding guiding the students so that they are getting. If you see other uh, online MOOC platforms like uh, edX or um, Coursera or Udemy, these, uh, their examination system is not very good compared to NPTEL. NPTEL courses, they give very good assignments and uh, good examination system is very, very good. But one of the point when I checked NPTEL website, there are total 1.5 crore students have registered uh, in the last uh, years, in the last many years but only around 25 lakh people only could get certification because the process is very rigor and a very good examination system and assignment system is there so that there is no any chance of plagiarism for the student. So students has to do individually so that he will gain knowledge by getting a certification from the NPTEL. So NPTEL overall supporting very well most of the technical educations and, and, and also in the science education. And uh, as a local chapter, uh, our Gangan College of Technology, we are supporting our most of the students near local colleges and also our own two engineering colleges. We are supporting them so that students come out with flying colors once they complete uh, these NPTEL courses. I'm happy to participate in this uh, inaugural address of uh, e awareness workshop on NPTEL. Thank you all. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, madam. Yes, ma'am, I will share. Yes.
Okay, so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo. This is the NPTEL logo. Uh, we'll start off with it. So NPTEL is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together. It's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website, but we have certification, not just certification for one course, but it is uh, also clubbing courses together to make it into a domain. Uh, for faculty, we have FDP courses, which fetch you career points. Then we have internship opportunity for students. We have soft skill training going on for local chapter students and so on. So this is what this presentation will uh, talk about. Okay, so uh, you might have all heard about these two terms, uh, NPTEL and Swayam. So uh, Swayam is a project of the ministry, the government of India, MHRD. And they created this in 2017 and said that all these agencies that you see below, right? Uh, IAM Bangalore, UGC, CEC, uh, NCRT, NITR, AICT, they all have to offer courses for certification under Swayam. So NPTEL is also a national coordinator under Swayam. We primarily offer courses in engineering. The UG level, the bachelor's level, the MTech ME level, some PhD level courses also. But since we have courses uh, that are there in the management and humanities division inside IITs, we offer that also on NPTEL. NPTEL also coordinates with some institutes like the ICERS to offer, uh, say, the physics, chemistry, mathematics courses. We work with the triple ITs. We work with National Law School Bangalore. We work with some medical institutions to offer medical related courses. So uh, maybe 90% of our courses will be engineering related humanities management and 10% is something else we help. So uh, NPTEL comes under Swayam and we coordinate this primarily. There are other agencies also. So one thing to remember when you are going to swayam.gov.in and you try to enroll to any course or you try to join any course, please check whether the national coordinator is NPTEL if you want to join the NPTEL course. Because if you just search for, say, a database management systems course, right? Maybe there is some other college also offering it with somebody else's coordinating. So the course name that we offer will also be database management system. Theirs will also be that possibly. So how do you actually differentiate if it's an NPTEL course? On every course card, we will have a logo of NPTEL. I'll show it to you when we come there. But you can check that and then you can join the course. Okay, that is something that you have to look out for. Okay, uh, NPTEL started in 2003. The vision, mission that we have had is to uh, record the content that is being taught to IIT students and put it out for anybody to watch and view so that nobody can say, I didn't get a chance to prepare for IITs. I am not in the IITs today. I cannot get access to their knowledge, to their teaching. Uh, hence, you know, I am denied this opportunity. Nobody can say that. Today, more than 2,000 courses we have in our repository. You can go there and you can actually access the courses for free. You can just go there, you can scroll, you can watch all the videos. We have more than 50,000 hours of video in our website. You can access all that for free. There is no charge. There is no free a fee at all to access our content. Okay. There's somebody who's asking, is NPTEL useful for students of LLB? So National Law School Bangalore, NLSIU, is offering uh, two courses, I think, in uh, Jan. I don't know if we have. In July, we had two courses, I think. And more are coming in that. So specific to law, we do have a couple of courses. IIT Kharagpur has a law department. So from there, we have some courses coming in. But otherwise, you can access the general courses that we have also say on uh, management or English, those might be useful to you. Yeah. So whenever you think of a website, right, what really uh, do you look out for? Say how many people access that website? How, many, how much content do we have? In a YouTube also, whenever we go to and watch a YouTube video or a YouTube channel, one of the things we look at is how many people have watched that video or how many subscribers are there in that channel, correct? So this is the NPTEL statistics. We have more than 1.3 billion views of the NPTEL videos. Okay, so this is like huge, huge for a 
technical channel which has no entertainment you can't call npetel videos as entertainment there is no song and dance or something it's all faculty from the iits iisc teaching serious stuff there and for that we have more than 1.3 billion views we have 37 lakh subscribers on our youtube channel so any of you has not subscribed to our channel today i think i would say you're missing out on something go to our youtube channel subscribe for our updates so that you get it go to our social media handles subscribe to our uh, social media handles so that you get the latest updates from nptel and this is where uh, we are today as of nptel okay so these are what we do at nptel today and if you do an nptel course what is the use of it so the very first point is credit transfer i was just talking to dr satish also about it and said that maybe we should try to see whether students can get credit transfer for the courses that you do from nptel but yes even if you don't get credit transfer i think you get a lot of knowledge from nptel courses uh, for instance say what are the kind of courses we have that we would recommend to students in your college correct so we will say that we have a lot of programming courses so we have programming in c c++ python java programming and all that so if you are say a bsc physics student or a ba english student maybe a bcom student as part of your uh, program in the college you would not be learning programming possibly so you can go to nptel you can learn the programming course you can learn a bit of programming and also get that certificate along with your program wherever you go today to any company you want they use some kind of a database they will have some kind of coding that is there they will have some kind of software they are using for uh, in within their company it's good for you all to know at least something about it okay that is the first part the other thing okay what are the other courses we have that is useful for you if you are planning for higher education you want to go in for a masters degree supposing you want to strengthen your fundamentals your foundations you want to maybe do some more courses from other institutes so that you are confident when you are attending interviews those courses will be available on nptel so we have all the ug undergraduate courses you can go through that you don't even have to write the exam for each of these courses you can just go through the videos you can try solving problems you can watch many videos try to get knowledge from it and strengthen your foundation so if you're going for higher education i would say the courses are really useful so first thing i'll say try something like programming courses then you go in for higher education probably you want to try and strengthen your fundamentals the third thing try to learn something that is of interest to you which you possibly cannot learn otherwise for instance we have courses on german language teaching you german teaching you japanese teaching you sanskrit so if you want to learn any of these you can come to nptel and learn so for instance german is taught only by maybe the goethe institute and maybe some other institutes here the same course is taught but it is free for you and if you want a certificate you can write the exam but otherwise too you can learn the german language for free same thing you can learn japanese language why are these useful maybe you go to a company that has branches say in germany japan they have opportunities for people to go there but you need to know the language so at that point this becomes very useful for you so you can try to learn other languages also through nptel courses okay maybe you're technically very strong you have good foundations you have good knowledge in your particular program but maybe your english is not very good hence you are not confident about speaking we have a lot of courses like soft skills development soft skills enhancement how to attend an interview the body language that you have to have when attending an interview uh, interpersonal communication skills leadership skills so we have a lot of courses like this that you can also go through it will give you a lot of tips on how to present yourself how to ready yourself for such situation so that having the knowledge you can also be confident when you talk to somebody and you are presenting or being in an interview so that's another set of nptel courses that we have as part of what we offer so anybody who wants to learn i think should be able to get at least two or three courses of their interest that they can join and learn joining is free like i said there is no fee at all it is all completely free and you can watch it there are no live classes these are all recorded lectures 
so you can watch at your convenience if your college day uh, college time is say 9 am to 4 pm or something in the evening you have time you can sit and watch nptel lectures on saturday sunday you can watch it there will be one assignment every week you have to solve the assignment and you have to submit it for that also you get 10 days of time so you can watch the lectures you can try solving the assignment maybe a couple of you friends are joining the same course you can all sit together you can learn from each other you can solve together take help from your teachers and you can do the nptel courses so there is no such thing as there'll be live lectures maybe you'll miss a few lectures because you have college or something it is all video lectures along with assignment okay so the first part is credit transfer and learning from our courses apart from it if you do very well maybe we should go to next slides yeah, so this is the credit transfer. I don't want to discuss too much about this because uh, we, I think uh, your university doesn't have credit transfer. So I'll skip this slide. And uh, so uh, credit transfer, just as a piece of information for maybe the faculty who are out here, IITs do do credit transfer from NPTEL courses. We do it at the BTEC level. We do it at the master's level for PhD working professionals. For them to get credit transfer also, we do it. So IITs also do credit transfer from NPTEL courses. It is not just the outside uh, colleges that have to do it. We ourselves do credit transfer from uh, NPTEL courses. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is an important thing, I would say. So we have a program by which the toppers in the courses actually get internship opportunity with the faculty in the IITs. So whoever has offered that course, they take in normally about two, three, five interns during summer or winter if you are a topper in the course. So if you do a course very well and you become a topper in the certification course, then we give you an opportunity to intern with the faculty. So we are trying to scale up these numbers. COVID uh, hit us also, so we could not get them. But we hope it will be at least 200, 300 students who can intern at the IITs with the faculty. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to come and stay uh, you know, in the city, uh, be in the IIT Madras or IIT Kanpur or IIT Kharagpur or IIT Bombay lab, you get to interact with the faculty members there, you interact with their PhD scholars there, you can do all of this, which will be wonderful if you're especially thinking about going for higher studies, you'll get the idea of what is done in these institutes. I think it's uh, a really good opportunity for students outside of the IITs to come in and experience the IITs here. So there is internship. Then we also do soft skill training. So uh, there are many colleges who provide it on their own, but there are also some colleges who do not have this training for their students. So if uh, college students in local chapters, uh, they participate in NPTEL courses, then for those students, we are providing soft skill training. So this training is of two types. We do a one week training or we do a two week training depending on how much time the student can spare and the college also wants the students to do. So here we have group discussion practice. We ask you to write your resume and we give input on the resume. We ask you all to present about yourselves, give feedback about how you should talk, where you should look, your body language and so on. And there are also a one on one, like every student will get half an hour with a trainer to discuss about how they should also do. So the right side photo you see, is a one on one where we do mock interviews. We try to uh, simulate an interview and see how you're responding and then give feedback on how you should do better in your interview. So we do soft skill training for students who do NPTEL courses. So this is something that we do from NPTEL again. If you look at numbers, we have finished uh, soft skill training for more than 2000 students currently. And we are doing about 10 colleges a month and we hope to scale it up. So if you're, uh, I don't know if Pedapalli College has done it, but yes, we can extend it to y'all also and we can get it done. Okay, uh, so there's a seven or 14 day training program that I was talking about next. Okay, so somebody was asking, uh, will we get jobs uh, with uh, these NPTEL courses? How is it helpful to us and so on? When we do surveys of NPTEL students and where they have gotten placed, these are the companies that they have gotten placed so far. This is like some of the companies. Are, um, it's not all the companies that they've gotten placed for, but they have said that the NPTEL courses have really helped them when they went for the interviews. When they show a certificate to the interviewer and say, I did a course with the IITs, I got so much marks in that course, it really does 
help in the job interview. So those people also ask questions on that, assuming you've studied well and you can answer, it will definitely help you that outside of the college syllabus, you have done something more to learn and skill yourself. Also, companies approach us and ask us, do we have students in particular areas that we can send them their resumes? So we also collect resumes of students on our site. And if they are interested, we send these out to the companies and the companies call them for interviews, go through their uh, levels of recruitment. And we have been able to place NPTEL students from our side also in some companies. So we are still working on it. I hope this will increase. We are talking with more companies on this front. But otherwise, even if you have like two or three courses from NPTEL and the certificates for it, I think it will be hugely useful because of the logos we put on the certificate. Okay. Yeah, the next one, uh, there are a lot of uh, students, learners, faculty who do multiple courses with us. There are people who do uh, the courses, maybe, uh, you know, they do three courses in a semester, four courses in a semester. They are toppers in two or three courses every semester. There are people who have done a lot of courses with us. I'll maybe show you the data in the next one. But this is another type of recognition we give to NPTEL learners. So you can go to NPTEL website and at the top we have a link called NPTEL stars. So click on that link, click on any of this, you will see how many people are actually doing multiple courses with us. So if uh, students are thinking, oh, I don't have time and I'm so busy, I can't do it. You should just see, to, uh, see these pages to see how come these people who are working professionals, who are students in colleges just like you, or who are maybe, you know, uh, uh, studying or faculty or something, how are they able to get the time to do so many courses? If they can get the time, I think anybody can get the time, right? You just have to manage your time on when you're going to study and not waste time on something else that is not important, etc. So this page, I would say, please go and see. So these are the kind of uh, domain scholars, superstars, uh, evangelists and all we have. Uh, we have more than about 3,000 as I can just calculate on the fly that we are going to have these people doing multiple courses and they are NPTEL stars with us today. Uh, so there is something called domain certification that we have currently come up with in the last two years. So what is a domain, right? So a domain we have created uh, just to club courses together and maybe about five or six courses we have put together. And we say that if you study this uh, six courses and you get more than 60 in the course, in each course, not just pass it by getting a 40, then you get a domain scholar certificate. So why is this important? This is important because it shows that you have specialized in a particular area. So for instance, we have a programming domain. So in the programming domain, we have courses such as C, uh, C++, Python, uh, database management course and then maybe uh, cloud computing course and so on. So if you do a programming domain, right, and you do all the six courses, it shows that you have a solid foundation in this particular area. So when you go for an interview and you actually show a domain certificate versus just one or two certificates from us, that will make more of an impact on the interviewing person. So this is something we recommend. It is more just to guide students on what to study to become uh, to become and specialize in one particular area. We found that many NPTEL learners do four or five courses, but they do random courses that are not connected to each other. So this uh, domain will guide you in what to study if you want to specialize in a particular area. We have about 53 domains today in all branches of engineering, management, English and for faculty, we have a faculty domain basic and advanced also so that you can also go through that part of it. So you can go to our website. There are more details on domains there. Uh, you can we can talk about it later too. OK, yeah. So these are some of the domains we have. So for you, it might be relevant. The English studies, we have a domain psychology. We have a domain management. We have it in marketing operations. Uh, patents and intellectual property in economics and of course engineering uh, and all we have a couple of uh, domains so uh, if you're a general student uh, not an engineering student 
I would recommend the programming domain for you. If you want to try out something, do the programming domain or do the management domain. That will be really useful for you. So if you're an engineering student, of course, you can try any of the domains relevant in your particular discipline or engineering, or you can do a cross discipline. So for instance, I'm a maybe mechanical engineer. I like electrical engineering. You can actually do the courses in electrical engineering and you can get a domain from there. So here, nobody stops you and says, hey, you're in mechanical engineering department. You cannot study electrical engineering, say power systems course, power electronics course. You're not allowed to study that. There is no such thing like that. Anybody can study any course as long as you can cope with it. So you can also do a cross department study by doing domains from any of what is listed here. Uh, this is what a domain certificate looks like. We give this, we list all the courses you have done and we uh, assign it out, of course, from the specific IIT that we are giving it from. So how do we do lab courses? Is it online? Uh, not really. We do it in the institutes. We do it in various institutes such as uh, ISERS, IIT. You can come here. You can stay for a week at the institute. You can do the lab experiments. You can listen to faculty giving one or two lectures in the day and then do a lab exam and take a certificate. So what is the advantage of this? You will get to see really modern labs. You will get to see what the state of the art labs are in these institutes. You can see the equipment that is there, the modern equipment that is there. You can see the advanced research that is happening here. You can interact and get explained on all this equipment. So we had very successful uh, labs being run at all these places. This is a wonderful opportunity. Again, if you do the theory course in NP10, those people, we will permit that you can apply and come for these lab certification courses and you can do the workshops here. Okay. So that was the idea behind the question we asked you. What else do we do at NPTEL? This is for faculty in colleges. So faculty in colleges under the AICT scheme, we explicitly have an MOU with them where NPTEL advanced courses, if you do and pass, you will get uh, an AICT approved FDP certificate. So that is for faculty in AICT colleges. For those under the UGC scheme, they have given a broad guideline that if you do an, uh, uh, Swayam courses, there will be some career progression points, but uh, the actual logistics, I'm not sure you'll have to check within your, <coughs> sorry, university. So that is something that is there. But uh, we see that more than about uh, 20, 30,000 faculty write our exams every semester and most of them apply for the FTP certificates also. This is very, very useful for faculty, I will say, because you don't have to spend money, you don't have to take leave, you don't have to miss your college work and go to some institute, stay for a week or stay for 10 days and then do an FTP course. You can do the FTP course online itself, just like the students. You join for free on Swayam portal, you go through the course, submit assignments, and then you pay the thousand rupees and attend the final exam and get your certificate. Once you get your certificate, you can apply for the FDP certificate to us and get that too. That's all it takes to do an FDP course with us today. So this is very important for faculty. I hope this is clear. This is what the FDP certificate looks like. You can see that it has the signature of the uh, director from AICT also. There is a regulation under which they have approved this. The ICT logo is there. So this you can present when you are going in for your uh, promotion interviews, right? The conversion that they do is a four week NPTEL course is equivalent to half FDP of one week. An eight week NPTEL course is a full FDP of one week and a 12 week course is equivalent to one and a half weeks FDP equivalent. So this is the equivalence of it, okay? Yes, the next thing I wanted to talk about was gate coaching. So we have started a new uh, link on our website and uh, somebody has given us CSR money for developing this and uh, uh, providing whatever, uh, I wouldn't call it coaching, but yes, gate preparation, whatever we can help students with to have and prepare for gate exams free again, we are trying to do from our side. So you can go here and we have given uh, solutions to all the previous gate questions. We have given uh, videos uh, solving those questions. 
we have uh, uh, extra questions that are coming up practice questions that will be coming up small courses linking all the videos that are relevant to gate so we will be coming up phase one is only over phase two and phase three we will be coming up within the next six months so keep watching this uh, uh, link on nptel website if you are preparing for the gate exam okay that is one new initiative we have come up with the next initiative exams outside of india so till uh, 2020 we were doing exams only in india where you have to go to a center and you have to write it and then we got a lot of requests from uh, people outside of india saying they also study from nptel courses and they want to write exams with us so now we help to do that also people outside india can also write exams nptel exams and get certificates from us okay yeah so uh, translation is the next effort so for people who are asking in what languages do we offer courses uh, the faculty teach only in uh, english uh, for now uh, but the english transcripts we translate into eight languages so we do uh, tamil telugu malayalam kannada hindi gujarati uh, bengali and marathi so that's the languages that we are translating it into so telugu we have a lot of uh, transcripts that are translated into telugu language so the faculty will talk in english but you can also read what we have translated in telugu or tamil or hindi whatever is your language and you can understand it better we are keeping the videos in english so that you also learn english because when you go to work somewhere english will be the primary language you have to communicate in so this is something we are doing uh, one or two courses we are getting in regional language for instance this time in january we are doing a machine learning uh, course in tamil language the faculty is going to teach in tamil language there is a signals and systems course that is coming out in hindi language in july semester we are getting an r programming course in hindi language so only two or three we have most are in uh, english we don't have too many other language courses so that's something you can check uh, let me take a question from the chat there are one or two saying i'm from commerce background i'm from bcom what courses we can take so for bcom students we do have a lot of uh, accounts related courses you can check those out go to management department i'll show you how to filter and learn from it you can go there and you can see how to do it so you can check out management related courses uh, in which we have accounts related commerce economics related courses that's something you can learn or if you're learning all that anyway in your college right i would strongly recommend programming courses for you all learn at least one programming language to know what is programming how do people program whether you write the exam or not i would say please write the exam but yes even if you don't write the exam at least try a course do the assignment see whether you can do something about it or if you're not doing that i would propose the english courses i would propose the uh, you know the german language or the japanese language course that you can learn from those are what we have uh, quite a few for you to choose from i would say more than 100 we would have for bcom uh, level students at least okay yeah uh, so these are translation how many courses we have in each language so in telugu we have 48 courses that are translated for now so that's what we have right okay. we have also uh, something called special lecture series so we also have industry people come in and present lectures so these are again free to watch very interesting topics very very distinguished people who come and present lectures these are vice presidents ceos ctos of companies like ibm cap gemini infosys that we've had in the past ias officers who have come and spoken to us film directors who's come and spoken to us journalist in the hindu a director at hindu entrepreneurs so i would really say you should go and watch these lectures when you have time even if you have missed it last year it's okay but listening to such people is very inspirational you know what they have done how they have worked how they have brought up new companies how they started a company where did they get their idea from these are all really interesting to listen to i would say please go back and listen to some of these lectures it will give you a tremendous amount of information knowledge and maybe there'll be some topic to talk about also when somebody asks you something it will widen your knowledge base okay this is something that you can see and if you all are wondering saying uh, how many students study how many courses right 
maybe you think some students study only one or two courses and that's all we can do that's what is useful right look at this there is one learner who has done 47 nptel exams with us that's as good as the degree program or more than the degree program that all of you are doing how many courses you'll do there i don't know maybe if you're doing a bsc it's a six into six maybe 36 courses or if it's a BTEC also, if I say six courses per semester, it's about 48. So he's done equivalent to that. Okay. So there is one learner who's done 47 exams, 34 exams, 33 exams, 32 exams, and so on. So you can see maximum people, yes, 5.6 lakhs do one exam, but there are 1.4 lakhs who are doing two exams, 48,000 doing three. And if you look up to 10 exams even, right? A lot of them are doing 10 exams, eight exams with us. So maybe you should think about and plan for how you're going to study, which courses you're going to do as you are in college. And every semester, try to do at least one or two NPTEL courses and finish with a certificate. That will be really nice that you can do that with your college. Okay. This is something we wanted to say. Uh, who are these people who are doing these courses? They are employed. They are faculty members. They are students. All people like you. So it's not like these people come suddenly from somewhere or they are also special. They are so privileged. Nothing like that. They are there in all towns, in all kinds of environment. They also have their constraints, but they are also studying from these courses and doing multiple courses. Okay. This is what the certificate looks like. It has the Swayam logo and it has the. Okay. It has the NPTEL logo. This was Swayam logo. Uh, then it has your photo on the certificate. It has, uh, as you can see, the LE tag, the gold medal. We have just put it here to say, if you fall under these categories, you can see all these coming on your certificate. Then uh, the institute, so if IIT Madras offers the course, uh, at the bottom where the institute logo and round is put, you can see IIT Madras uh, logo there. IIT Madras, the name will be put there. Signatures from our side will come and so on. So this is the way that you can see how the certificate looks. We had 20 lakh people who joined our courses in January semester, 20 lakhs who joined our July semester. And in 2021, we had 16 lakhs who joined the Jan semester, 16 lakhs who joined our July semester. So it's not 5,000, it's not 10,000, it's not 1 lakh like I'm seeing on the chat window here, but it is 16 lakhs who was our enrollment number last semester. Out of these exams, uh, those who are written over the last five years, it is 15.1 lakh people have registered for exams with us and they've gotten. So our total enrollment in NPTEL today is 1.58 crores over the last uh, seven years from when we are running this certification project. We have finished 3,500 courses almost and enrollment is 1.58 crores. 15 lakhs exam registration, that's the thing. So you can see how big NPTEL is. NPTEL is not something that we are doing 100, 200, 500 people or something like that. Every semester when we conduct exams in March and April, it's 3 lakh people who write our exams. So that's the uh, level at which we do. We conduct exams all over the country. In about 170 cities, we conduct exams outside India, like we said. So this is our data. So if somebody tells you, uh, okay, I haven't heard of NPTEL. You should really tell them saying that 15 lakh people enroll every uh, semester and 3 lakh people write exams. How come you're missing out? You know, that's the answer I will give them. Okay, uh, you can see a lot of feedback about NPTEL on our social media handles. We keep regularly posting about it. We are uh, present on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube community. And you can see all the feedback that we have posted there about people who've gotten jobs, people who've gotten through the soft skill training, who've done our courses, course feedback, everything is available here. So do subscribe to our social media handles so that you can get updates from our site. Okay, I'll just give a brief on NPTEL local chapter because I don't know how many of you are faculty from different colleges who are not a local chapter with us. So NPTEL works with about 4,500 colleges today across the country. And we have coordinators in each of these colleges who are called a single point of contact or SPOCs. And uh, through them is how we are so successful. So thanks to all the local chapter SPOCs, whoever is watching this workshop today, who is not watching the workshop today, whoever is anywhere, they are the champions for NPTEL within the colleges. Without them, I don't think NPTEL would have grown so much. 
So thanks to all the sparks of the local chapters. And I would like to just briefly say how you can become a local chapter if there's somebody watching who's not yet a local chapter. So to become an NPTEL local chapter, there is no money involved. There is no financial dealing. You just need to send us an email saying that you want to become a local chapter. There's a Google form on the website, fill it up. And we need a coordinator in your college who will be our local champion. So the head of the institution, the director, the principal, whoever has to send an email saying that we would like to become a local chapter and so and so will be the single point of contact for NP10. And that's all. Once we receive the email, we'll verify some details and we will make you a local chapter. So <clears throat> what? why should you become a local chapter? Can students and faculty from colleges who are not local chapters participate in NPTEL? Yes, totally. You can participate. You can be a free learner. You can uh, learn from our courses without belonging to a local chapter. But having a local chapter in a college is a big advantage. There are logins that the single point of contact or the SPOC has. One is a login on Swayam portal. One is a login on our NPTEL website. And here they get information related to enrollment, exam registration, the marks, the transcripts, the certificates. All of this is given to the SPOC directly that they can actually see and they can share with their management. <clears throat> also, the other benefits are if we don't have a center in your particular city, you can request for that. If they have more than 200 people writing exams, we can facilitate centers in your particular city. Uh, faculty can become mentors. You can follow the progress of your students in the colleges that you can do. Uh, another important thing I will say is we have CSR support from companies who also give us money to help students from economically weaker backgrounds to write exams. So this fee waiver we give only to local chapters. So if you're a local chapter and you have students who come from economically weak backgrounds, if they are doing NPTEL courses, writing exams, once they pass it, we will refund 50% of the fee to them based on the college's recommendation. So that is something that you can do. Also, all this data that we give to the SPOC can be directly shared with bodies such as NAC and NBA when they come for accreditation. And you can say that we are showing this data inside your dashboard. That has also been very helpful for colleges is what we came to know. These are local chapters that we have. This is the state-wise distribution. Uh, I think Maharashtra is the highest followed by Tamil Nadu. And of course, we have these Telangana comes in maybe four seventh position with 234 local chapters currently okay every semester we also we have some few local chapters outside of india and in some countries they're not very active but yes they do keep using our courses as they can uh, we also rate local chapters every semester based on the participation from their side in the particular semester so how many people have become toppers how many people have written exams how many people have uh you know uh done well based on it we also rank and rate the college local chapters and we uh publish this list publicly on our website every semester other interactions with local chapter uh, people we do soft skill training like i already spoke about it uh we take help of people here to go to exam centers as our representatives uh faculty can help in translation effect efforts and uh, yes, like I said, we rate it and we give recognition to the SPOC and the college also every semester. So these are certificates that we give them based on the formula that we have to the college and the SPOC. Yeah, these are other categories that we have on based on faculty participation, based on how local chapters improve semester after semester. There's a separate category for art science colleges also. Yeah, Star LC who have been in the top 10 or top 100 over the last uh, four years. That's something that we have done. That's it as a presentation that we had today. So I hope you learned about NPTEL, about what we do here. The NPTEL office, the head office is in IIT Madras. We have our head office here. About 70 people work in NPTEL office in IIT Madras. We have uh, smaller offices in IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Roorkee, IIT Gauhati, Bombay. Delhi and ISE Bangalore also and we all work together to keep this project going. It's one of the most successful inter-institutional project that eight institutes come together to work on this project and kind of run it without a break and to kind of offer 2000 courses that we have today. That's what we want to say. So my uh, suggestion and uh, uh, you can say maybe I'm old enough to advise all the young students out here also is try out NPTEL courses today. Go and go to Swayam website, join a few courses, learn from it, sample the videos there. You may or may not 
be able to follow certain videos you may not like certain courses maybe some courses are difficult it's okay you can drop off it is not like a college course that once you join a course you have to be in that course you have to complete that course otherwise somebody will think something somebody will ask you something or maybe you paid fees that will get wasted there is nothing like that in an nptel course so you can join even five courses you can join even 10 courses and you can try out week one videos you can see what you are interested in and then shortlist it to maybe one or two courses follow it up see whether you are able to do assignments maybe it even comes down to one course in a semester but follow till the end do all the assignments watch all the videos register for the exam do the exam and become a topper in it i think that's something that is very very doable i hope you were able to get that message as we presented in the last one and a half hours that is what we were trying to tell you that don't be afraid that these courses are from iits i cannot do it it will be very difficult there are 15 lakh people who have written exams with us so far it is not like all of them are coming out from iits or they are all like very well accomplished they are all coming from highly studious backgrounds nothing like that they are also students just like you in any college what you need is the interest to study what you need is the motivation you have to put out time it is not like two days before the nptel exam let me study and get a certificate you will not get a certificate every week you have to watch videos every week you have to do the assignment then you can definitely get a certificate so you need hard work and it will pay off okay but it is not like i cannot do it there is no such thing as i cannot do an nptel course anybody can do an nptel course we showed you people from age 86 years doing nptel courses we showed you people from all nook and corners of the country doing nptel courses there is local language translation support of transcripts in some courses that will help you understand the subject better your faculty are there to help you if you do not understand something your friends are there to help you if you all join a course together discussion forum is there ask questions ask doubts if you have something there but try out and learn something which is outside of your college curriculum today when companies are looking out for recruitment one of the things they see is okay your college degree is there apart from this what have you done that is something that all of them are looking at are you able to learn on your own are you able to study outside of college curriculum are you picking up any skills that are relevant for any job you might be trying for this is something that companies do look out for it's not just a resume saying bsc with this ba with this that might be one thing but then we look at okay what else what else what else there is something that all of us look out for when we are recruiting people so it might be good to have a few certifications to at least get your skills enhanced to learn what you are interested in to try and explore new opportunities that are there it is free there is no fee to learn you can download and watch the videos you can download and do the courses you can enroll in swayam courses and do it only the final exam has a 1000 rupees fee that also we are giving fee waivers if you are a local chapter so you can use that also you have to pay first get your exam done pass the course we will be able to help you with fee waivers on that front also so don't let money be a barrier don't let anything else be a barrier put in your time put in your effort learn from nptel get skilled and i hope you do much much better till then all the best and i hope that all of you do enroll to a course thank you yes thank you so much madam student is there any questions please put in chat box ma youtube chat box we will uh, check later ma'am uh, so you can yes. present your slides okay ma'am okay thank you ma'am shall i start yes ma'am yes okay uh, so again i welcome you all on this uh, nphl awareness workshop so i am sonal dinkar geda i'm assistant professor from the department of chemistry and this park of kurnana college of science pallarpur so under this portal uh, we just conducted the workshop for the gate gate preparation exam uh, awareness workshop so this program for the pg chemistry student our student get getting easily study material from this portal 
more informative and conceptual lectures from the IITs, expert from the IIT professor. Students also interacted with expert from the IIT to solve their subject related query in weekly technical session from this gate portal. Uh, in this slide, uh, I just shared about our principal sir, Dr. S.S. Pokre sir, Dr. G.S. Gond sir, professor and, uh, and head of department of biochemistry, Dr. P.S. Katkar sir, associate professor, department of microbiology and me. Uh, we are like uh, give the information to our student about the different type of courses by the NPTEL. So thank you so much NPTEL team. Uh, here I mention the on behalf of Gurunanak College of Science, Ballarpur, and the whole uh, and the uh, Ballarpur. I just thanks to whole NPTEL IIT Madras team to give us a chance to be part of NPTEL and NPTEL awareness program. My sincere thanks to the, today's resource person, respected Priyadarshini Madam, and NPTEL Madras. Thank you so much. My special thanks to Principal Dr. S. S. Pokre sir. Dr. DVS Bhagwanulu sir, on behalf of Gurunanak College of Science for inviting this event and moral support for conducting this event. Thank you so much, sir. For next part of this event, I call upon Dr. Om Singh Parihar, sir, spoke from Gyan Ganga College of Technology. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. A very warm welcome to our respective principal from both of colleges. Uh, Peter Singh, ma'am, from IIT Madras, and all attorneys of various colleges, uh, faculties, and my dear students. Uh, my name is Om Singh Pariyar, FOS uh, POC from Yanganga College of Technology for NPTEL Local Chapter. Talking about the impact of local chapter in uh, our college, in any of college, is very significant. Most of things of, uh, about NPTEL has already been. Most of things about NPTEL has already been uh, shared by Pidal Siniman and uh, our uh, principal sir, Dr. DBS Wagman sir. And coming to the uh, main point, uh, just a minute. Coming to the uh, main point, there is just a minute. Okay, coming to the point, uh, uh, we are having uh, different kind of enrollments in our college. In January, April, we are having approximately to uh, 40 students in 2022. I'm talking about the July, December, and 2022, we are having 2011 students who have successfully enrolled in various NPTEL courses. Talking about uh, January, April session 2020, we are having uh, 104 students successfully enrolled in various NPTEL courses. Talking about July, December 2021 session, we are having 106 students enrolled in various NPTEL courses. In uh, January, April session 2021, we are having 77 students. Talking about July, December 2022 session, we are having 20, uh, one, 125 students. And once uh, college are having local chapter of NPTEL in their premises, there are various facilities we can offer students. We can assign one mentor for particular courses on uh, for students so that uh, a learning of the students of NPTEL courses would be in a supervision of mentors and for a smooth conduction of courses. And apart from that, uh, as the previous team I'm already told, there are a certain kind of students who are at disadvantages of uh, financial side. We can offer them fees traveling while they are going for uh, certification. And uh, that's part of uh, MPL chapter in any of colleges. There is a dedicated person as in form of SPOC and under SPOC, there are different mentors who can supervise learning of students uh, of uh, NPTEL courses. And uh, because if uh, learning is in systematic, disciplined and uh, controlled manner, uh, I think it results in better way. And uh, in our college, there are a uh, number of students and uh, faculty who have done such uh, successfully certification of NPTEL courses. So overall, I, I will say uh, every college should join local chapter of NPTEL. 
so that they can create an impact of students learning and that would be advantages for hold together for all society and humankind. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. So we will wait for five minutes for the students' queries. So, so far, we haven't received any queries from students' side. We will check. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Uh, um, Singh, sir. Yeah, ma'am. I think we haven't received any queries from students, right? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so is... you can give a uh, word up, thanks. Sir. Right, right. Uh, there is one question from a student side, ma'am. Uh, uh, what's the question, sir? Yeah, in Aquatical, we are having gate section for students. So uh, is there any kind of section where the student can evaluate uh, themselves while going through certain kind of online assessment test? Is there any such kind of facility in that uh, part of Aquatical? Sorry, sir. Can you please once again repeat? Uh, Actually, we are having great section in our NPTEL website, NPTEL Learning Portal. Okay. Is there any section where students can evaluate themselves online, going through different kind of mock tests for various uh, uh, subjects or branches? No, so there is a mock set for uh, gate exams, gate preparation, sir. But there is no mock test for uh, internal examinations. Sir. Okay, okay. So only the assignment is the part of their. Uh, Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, sir, you can inform. Okay, sir, you can give water. Thanks. Okay. So, very good afternoon to all of all the dignitaries, equity uh, faculty members, and BO students. On behalf of Yanganga College of Technology, I take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks to those who have directly and indirectly contributed in this workshop on NPTL awareness and for making it successful. This key workshop jointly organized by NPTR Nadas team, Guru Nara College of Science, Balarpur, Maharashtra, and Gyananga College of Technology, Jabalpur. First of all, I am very thankful to NPTL for providing me this opportunity to conduct this workshop. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to our resource person, Pidarsani Ma'am, IIT Madras, for providing us all information regarding NPTL courses and local chapter, which is really helpful for all learners. I'm also thankful to Principal Dr. S.S. Pokhle, Ununana College of Science, Valarpun Mahasa, and Principal Gyanganga College of Technology, Dr. D.V.S. Vavanlu, sir, for their presence and their, uh, their valuable words. Success of every event depends upon the teamwork. In this order, I really thanks to SPOC, Sonam Dinkar, Gedan Madam, Ununana College of Science, Valarpun Mahasa, for her cooperation throughout to make this workshop successful. I would like to thank HOD Department of CFC, Dr. Ajay Lala sir, for encouraging me to conduct this kind of workshop and his cooperation throughout. At last, I want to express my heart, heartful, heartfelt thanks to all HOD faculty members and students for their active participation in this workshop. I hope everyone would be benefited by this workshop and try to make utmost of it. Once again, thank you everyone. Thank you all. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you. Uh, Sharad, sir. And then thank you, Bangavallu, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thanks for uh, joining this thank session. You. Thank you. Thank you, NPTEL team. Thank you. Uh, you may leave the meeting, sir. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a nice day. Thank you all. And have a nice day. Uh, studio team from IIT Madras.
sir uh, shall we leave sir or uh, Yeah, yeah, definitely, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Thank